this is very cool. I think you're going to like this. Uh, a company called GoSun makes solar ovens, solar stoves, essentially, that work just with solar power. And we got in touch with them and they sent us a free stove to try out. We tried the GoSun Sport solar stove, which is sort of a smaller one. And it worked incredibly well. And I, I really didn't know how this was going to work. I mean, when somebody tells you, even if it's cloudy, even if it's late in the day and it, there's not that much sun, this thing will work with absolutely no fuel whatsoever. And it will cook your food at temperatures up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit in 20 to 30 minutes. I was skeptical, uh, not because I didn't believe that this was uh, a good product or a cool product, but just because it's hard to imagine when you go out and it's cloudy and it's cold that you could just set up a stove with no power whatsoever uh, and that it would cook your food. And the first thing we did was we unpacked it and we put it together. Very easy to put together, Lewis. I mean, you supervised this entire thing. I did. Yeah. It, the whole thing is almost completely assembled already. Really. Uh, you just have to do a little bit of unwrapping, uh, pull some plastic off and turn the handle around on one thing. Yeah, you're done. That's it. And it's so it, the, the just weirdest thing about it is you put this thing together. There's no plug. There's no place to connect a gas line or propane or oil or whatever the case may be. You basically just set up the handle for the food tray. As you can see the food tray on this one, this is the sport. So it's not huge, but you can still fit uh, uh, quite a bit of stuff in there. We put that together and we were essentially ready to go. I loaded it up with uh, much to Lewis's uh, pleasure, not only green peppers, but also mushrooms. Mushrooms, one of Lewis's favorite vegetables and just a very compelling vegetable to Lewis. We set it up. I uh, completed the uh, assembly, inserted the food tray. And then the trick to it is you want to sort of align these uh, reflectors so that the sun is directly aimed at the food. And as you see me opening it, it's steaming, Lewis. I mean, it, it is we just left it in the sun 20 minutes and the food was hot to the touch and steam coming out of it. Truly amazing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Dave, you see Dave kind of burned his finger a little bit there on that uh, on that stove. Now, I am not really someone who goes camping. Lewis's last camping attempt ended up with him in a hotel and visiting four star restaurants in Portland, Maine. Uh, so maybe neither one of us really are the best campers. But if you were to go camping again, Lewis, you'd be totally up for bringing something like this. Yeah, it is. It is a great product and it really works the same way those solar farms work. You focus the lights on a tube, use the sun's power, cook stuff. If you were to bring, if you were to have the bigger version, right? Because this was the sport, so the the food tray is not huge. They make bigger ones when you can you can actually cook like three pounds of meat in one sitting. Is that appealing to you? The idea of being able to just pull this thing out and cook meat, or even you could go fishing and catch a fish, and then with no power source whatsoever, fillet it, put it in the the uh, solar stove, and have cooked fish. Yeah, as uh, if if you're going to be out there doing your thing in the wild, this is a great product. Check it out. Use the link in the video description. And thanks to GoSun for sending us this product to check out and try. Very, very cool.